everyone, this is Tony from Her Homestead Skills, and today's video is probably going to be a little bit of a mishmash of a few things. Um, one, I, I do spend a fair amount of time at the garden. I guess people are starting to um, see the results of that because I'm posting a few things here and there. Um, did get another bumper crop of spinach this morning. I was there this morning and the soil was uh, pretty damp from a good heavy rain so uh, spent quite a bit of time weeding. It's a good time to weed when the soil's wet because it's uh, clay soil and the weeds will come out a whole lot easier when the soil's damp. So, And after that I harvested oh, and that another batch and it's not the third, maybe it's the fourth batch of spinach from that little tiny spinach plot I put in there. I'm absolutely thrilled with the quality and the quantity of spinach that I'm getting and uh, um, so I'll obviously plant that again. Uh, right now I have a pot of water on the stove boiling and uh, well here let me show you. Okay well there is my sink load of spinach and I'm just waiting for the um, water to boil and I'm going to probably do a couple of batches here. This is more than what I got in the first batch and I was able to uh, freeze uh, uh, two bundles and I suspect I will at least be able to freeze one bundle and have a heavy meal for uh, spinach dinner tonight which is wonderful. I don't know what else we'll have with it but we'll certainly have spinach tonight and uh, beautiful spinach. I cut it back pretty hard again, and uh, I suspect that uh, it'll continue to grow. And uh, I noticed this week that the brand of coffee that I buy um, is on sale, and I was down to my last package. Now, normally I keep four or five packages in the, in the uh, storage, but at this point Mark and I are not drinking as much coffee as we used to, and hopefully I can keep up with it. Um, this coffee is also increased in price. Regular price is now $18.95, I believe, or $99, so $19 basically, and uh, went up by a dollar for the regular price. And there's two different stores where I can buy this on sale, and one always had it at $10, and one had it at $7.99. So obviously, I'd wait for the $7.99 price. Well, that store now has also raised their sale price to $8.99. So once again, uh, raised by a dollar a piece. Certainly better than regular price. And there was a time <laughs> where we didn't we didn't know that they used to go on sale that heavily, and uh, we used to pay the $18 for a bag of coffee and uh, I know I absolutely refuse to. So I did pick up two, two bags and these are beans and they do have a machine at the uh, grocery store to grind it and they do grind it there because I don't have, well I probably could grind it here but I find it really irritating with the little small um, grinder that I have and I like to use that for herbs as well so you should actually have one separate for coffee and one for herbs if you're going to grind your own coffee. So I finally found coffee and I finally found butter but more of both of those have both increased in price. I'm also short on olive oil and I've also noticed that that has also increased by a dollar a bottle. I'll, I'll wait and see next week if uh, there's any better prices. If not, uh, I guess I'll be buying uh, olive oil at a dollar more than what I used to as well. That's the way life works sometimes. Okay, and I finally, finally, finally picked up my first box of Tatler lids, and I'll probably be doing two experiments with this. Um, one of them being just to see how well the Tatler lids work in comparison to the metal ones. I'm looking at them and I find that these plastic discs are fairly heavy and substantial. I would have thought that they would have been lighter than this, but no, they're not. Um, 
They do remind me though of the old glass lids, the same shape and the same method of uh, uh, putting a ring around the edge of it or the uh, rubber seal around the edge of it and definitely as firm these are not going to flex. So I'm going to be doing an experiment with these to see how well I like them. Uh, definitely not cost effective for me though. Um, this box, along with tax, cost me over $21. The box itself, not, and this is the wide mouth, uh, was $18.99 for one box of 12. And you would have to use them six times in order to pay for, I mean, okay, if I paid $4 and you can get wide mouth lids on around four dollars on sale and sometimes a little bit better than that and they may cost it up to five dollars when they're not on sale um, but even at five dollars you you can buy four packages you'd have to use this four times to make up the cost and uh, although i understand that they can be used the plastic lids can be used indefinitely the rubber will certainly last four times and it may last longer than that. Um, I still don't believe that these are cost effective for me. But I've always wanted to try them so I'm going to do that. Now, the second experiment I plan to do uh, with these lids. Now, two people have come to my uh, channel and mentioned that they use the regular metal lids and I always pull mine off really easily they're very little damage but with just the Tatler ring as um, a cost-effective solution and I like that idea I've always liked that idea um, so I am definitely going to do an experiment to see how well they seal I expect that there should be no problem these are fine enough I assume that they'd be a bit heavier than what they are, um, but they're not. They're fine enough, so um, I suspect that this should be no problem. So I will be trying two different experiments, one with the Tatler with the plastic lids and one with the Tatler seal with, the, with a used metal lid. Now, if this works, this is definitely a cost-effective solution, just buying the seals and saving your older lids and reusing them. Okay, so that is, uh, expect a couple of videos on both of those in the next little while when I have time to do them. Okay. Oh, and by the way, Mark actually did have some success with uh, his last fishing trip. Um, and he came home thrilled because he was the one who caught the great big 14-pound uh, catfish and a second smaller one that was about 5 pounds and uh, the other boys that he was with <laughs> one got nothing at all and the other one got two smaller fish than what he got so he was on cloud 9 because that was probably one of his better fishing experiences that he's had in the last 30 years. Mind you, he hasn't done much fishing in the last 30 years. So he's starting to enjoy that. Um, and we did have fish for dinner. Okay, that's it. Okay, yeah, we went out today, we caught three catfish, one which was 14 pounds, two, each, two more that were about five pounds, went to my buddy's place and we cleaned them, actually he cleaned them, and I got the wrong bag. I got the, all, the one with all the little pieces in it. <laughs> I was supposed to get the bag with the two big fillets in it, but up to off the 14 pounder, but that's okay. We'll make this work.
is uh, Tony from Her Homestead Skills, and I know it's been a bit of a mishmash video today, a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.